Hello, my name is Stephen Rodriguez. I'm a family practice doctor in Dallas, and I am going to show you my face pain treatment. Face pain is also called trigeminal neuralgia. It is said to be the worst pain anyone can ever have to endure. It's like having a taser applied to your face or head every 30 or 40 seconds until a battery runs down. And once it charges back up again, it begins the process again. Um, face pain is in reality, muscle pain. All pain is muscle until proven otherwise. How do you prove it? You have to treat the muscles to determine uh, whether you are correct or incorrect. On any account, muscles are the only tissues that require therapy in the human body. Nerves do not require therapy. Bone does not require direct therapy. Skin does not. No other organ tissue requires therapy other than muscle tissues. Now, your mental, your psychological requires daily therapy also. So when you combine the fact that the human body requires muscle therapy and daily mental therapy, uh, you add that into your daily chores. Muscles require direct, forceful stretching. Muscles are engines. They work for a living. They work by contraction. And it's up to us to pull them back out again. And you have to pull them out with a force and effort. If you don't pull them out with a force and effort, they will just eventually choke you to death. And you will not be able to re release that muscle because it's programmed to do that. It's programmed to choke you to death. It's up to us because of how we, we were evolutionary designed to pull all of your muscles with a force and effort, stretching, flexing, traction, kneading, massage, chiropractic services, osteopathic services, and the most important medicine in medicine, needles. The needle is the most important this little thing is the most important device ever created by humans. This one is the most important one created by God. So between these two, you have a full complement of physical therapy. So I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to use 30 needles. I'm going to try to put them in as quickly as possible. But I feel it this way. And it woke me up from sleep last night. For some reason, I can do anything to my face. I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it now across here. But every time it flares up, I'll lay my head down on the pillow and it'll say, hello, I'm still here. Um, so I'm treating it. And I'm going to use all of these muscles. And I'm, I think the center is here. It might be here. It might be here. I cannot figure it out. All I know that it is connected like a spider's web. So you have to dismantle the spider's web. And here we go. The When you put the needles in, It's really hard. Mm. There it goes. It almost feels like you're encountering a, a pencil eraser. And it's very, very dense. Very, very hard. Why? I don't know. God knows. I don't need to know. All I need to know is what to do. And this is what to do. Sometimes I'll use hypodermic needles. It depends.
So the obicularis, the, um, the temporalis, and um, the scalp, all the scalp muscles, basically. The frontalis. Well, that one felt a little strange. And I'm following the temporalis. You notice that there's an acupuncture meridian here. I don't know which one it is. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You're obligated to obey the tissue, not the meridians. So this therapy is a one therapy. This is one, two, three. This is one therapy. One therapy is 30 dimensions. A two therapy is medications. You just simply take a medication. A three therapy is one that is surgery. One, two, three. Let me know something there. Let me see how it's catching. It's grabbing. I'm scrunched down. So because there's no points on the body, there's no trigger points, there's no acupuncture points, you, ooh, that's a good spot right there. Mm. Now, ideally, if you find a point that reproduces the pattern, that's why you focus it. But I can't reproduce this pattern. It's not reproducible. Ooh, I got something there. That hurts. And I'm not going to push it in any further until it quiet down, quiets down. But I'm going to bombard this area with. And I'm using 25, 25 gauge needles because 20 gauge needles, they'll just bend like you're trying to. Uh, nail a nail into concrete. So you need a thicker needle to do the job. You need a longer needle to do the job. You need a sharper needle to do the job. Whatever the job requires, that's what you do. So, one, diseases are all action. You already know the problem. One, diseases are trials, tribulations, uh, disappointments, Stresses, strains, contusions, collisions, concussions, everything from birth to death is a one problem. Um, people kill themselves to escape what I call medical negligence. Physicians don't treat mental, emotional, physical with the therapy, proper therapy. They only use medications. They only use rock. Uh, operations and it's impossible to do this with a medication it's imp you can do this with a knife you'll just mess it up because it's the wrong tool if you use a knife to do this that's called a sham surgery this is the proper treatment period any other treatment is improper wrong and a wrong treatment is wrong Using a wrong treatment, making a person think that it's the correct treatment is a lie. It's legal for physicians to lie. I never thought 35 years into my career, I'd wake up in a Holocaust, in a genocide. I'm angling these that way so you can see how that catches. The other thing is this zygomatic arch. Um, you want to cover that too. So 
the theory is if it's a nerve pain. Well, a nerve pain is one when you sit on your feet or your butt or your leg and it falls asleep. That all that tingling is pain. Where it comes from, it doesn't matter. The treatment is to get off your leg and the pain will go away. Similar with this. Something is pressing against something else. Where is it? I don't know. It's in there. So you just treat the whole area. It's impossible to figure out this. It's possible to treat it. It's impossible to figure it out. So once you have the problem, you just treat it. No questions. You just treat it. A one problem requires treatment. It doesn't matter how it started. You just treat it. If you delay treating a one problem, a mind, body, spiritual problem, you're deluding yourself. If you use an x-ray to try to find it, you're deluding yourself. If you wait on blood test, that's delusional. You already know. It's mind, body, spirit. You just treat it. And then the patient will say, wow, doc, I feel better. So you have cause, effect, problem, solution. And then the patient says, whoa, doc, I feel better. I'll see you back next week. And I know I have to stretch and I have to take my uh, magnesium and do my Epsom salt soaking. They all know. The one is everything. It's not just one thing. I'm going to put in uh, some more. Let me put these in real quick. And it hurts. But it's a different hurt. It's a therapeutic hurt. Sort of like sunbathing. It hurts. Walking across the sand. It hurts. Playing football. It hurts. But it's a life hurt. It's not a tormenting um, betrayal hurt. Although life is painful, this is therapeutic. Trying to figure this out, it's impossible. Once you know, you just start the process. So one is action. You don't have to figure out anything. Once you begin the therapy, the patient will say, Whoa, doc, I feel better. Thank you. When do I need to come back? Once the patient states, Doc, do I have to come back next week? I feel better. Okay, come back in two weeks. Come back in three weeks. Whenever you need to come back, just come back. So the patient dictates what to do in the one. The worst thing that could have happened in medicine is for physicians to become dictators. Then you cannot figure out how to help someone if you're dictating to them. Guess what? I figured out how the human body works perfectly. And all we have to do is help natural, is help to heal it naturally. By doing the five things, I'll put up the five things Rx1. Um, below. Thank you. I'm going to leave these in for a half hour until I get frustrated with them and I'll take them out.